Good boy. Good morning. Welcome back to the second Vlogmas vlog. I don't know if I should call this like Vlogmas day two since it's the second vlog, but I've been posting hair videos in between. So I don't know if those count. Like, should this technically be Vlogmas day four? I don't know. Anyway, every time, every time I start talking to the camera, he goes to drink. But if you're new here and you didn't know, my name's Sam. I'm a licensed cosmetologist, despite how I look right now. And from December 1st until Christmas, I am gonna be posting a video every single day. I'm doing a vlog every other day, and then some type of hair related video, tutorials, things like that in between. So make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell so you have your notifications turned on so you don't miss my new daily videos for December. I am excited, but I just got up a little while ago, took my dog for his morning walk and went and checked my packages and I got an Amazon delivery and it's pretty much all hair stuff, except for one thing, I got a candle wick trimmer. Cute kind of like nice decor to just sit out like on the coffee table anyway then i also got some headbands i got a set with a few different colors but i am really into like the thick headband hair pulled back it's very sporty and very like model off duty and then i got a bunch of claw clips all the neutral colors and this set came with three different types you have the small square one the large square and then just like the traditional and then i finally did it this is all for you i got the shark blow dryer i have been getting asked to review this for a couple years now and I finally got it I thought for vlogmas since I'm doing these hair tutorials every other day perfect opportunity for me to finally get this and try it out so I'm going to wash my hair tonight and test this out and then you know mess with it over the next week or two and then later on in the month you will get a video on that and then I also got an extra attachment for it anyway i'm gonna go get ready really quick my friend is actually on his way to pick me up we are gonna go get breakfast and then we might go look at apartments because my lease in this apartment is going to be up at the beginning of march and i officially decided that i want to move i want to upgrade to a bigger apartment i already toured a bunch of them a couple months ago and i just recently discovered a couple other ones so i want to go check those out and then we might go do some shopping i have my salon's christmas party tomorrow night and i'm still not sure what i'm gonna wear to that and i feel like the options that i have i'm like i don't really love any of them so i don't know maybe we'll go to the mall and just kind of poke around and i'll see if there's something that catches my eye i have the day off from work today which is nice so it's just gonna be a laid back day and it is so nice and warm out today the high is supposed to be 75 but i'm gonna go get ready and i will see you in a little bit closet. I really like that a lot. <laughs> nice. 
Like, I just love, like, washing dishes, sitting here, like, oh my god, kids. I, yeah, I like the kitchen a lot. I like how open it is, and I love how big the island is. And there's so much space, like, so much more counter space, cabinet space. I love it. This, literally. We'll do workout videos in here. Yeah, I feel like this is the move. So nice. This will be the party spot. Yep. Yeah, it is. It's several hours later, I just got home. Today was such a good day. First of all, I ended up getting the red dress. I got it at H&M and it was on clearance and I had a $5 off coupon. So I ended up getting this for 20 bucks and I'm so happy about this because I had a few other options that I was considering that I showed you guys two days ago in the first vlog in this video. And I don't know, I just wasn't really feeling any of them. And like, I don't want to wear anything too tight and form fitted because I'm just not feeling my best uh, body image wise. For the party, we are going to eat at an Italian restaurant and then we're going out downtown after. And I just feel like eating, Italian food and drinking and stuff. I just feel like if I'm bloated at all, like I know I'm gonna be really uncomfortable in a tight fitting dress, but I feel like this is really flattering because it's not too tight and it has the ruching. So I think I'll just feel way more comfortable in this and it looks so beautiful on. And I think I found my next apartment. These are apartment complexes that I've been viewing. So they always show us the model unit. So I'm not gonna be moving into like that exact specific one but it's going to be the same floor plan it's going to look the same on the inside it's just going to be located in a different spot and this one like it just feels meant to be because they're running a special it's going to be ready i can start my lease a few weeks before my lease is going to be up here so there's going to be a little bit of overlap which kind of sucks because i'll be paying like two rents for one month but it's kind of nice because it gives me plenty of time so i don't have to get it all done in like one weekend i'll be able to like gradually pack up and take all my stuff over which i think will take a lot of stress out of it and it's exactly where i want it like it faces a wooded area so there's tons of privacy it's exactly where i wanted and they're running a special so the rent it's like the best price that i could possibly get for 
this area and for that amount of space two bedrooms two full-size baths full-size washer and dryer in the apartment and the amenities there are so nice i didn't want to show all of that stuff because i don't want to like totally give away where it's at but it has a beautiful full-size gym pet washing station beautiful pool and it's just in such a good location too i'm gonna be so much closer to work so much closer to my friends feel really good about it i'm excited so all i have to do is fill out the application and pay you know like the application fee and security deposit and that kind of stuff and as long as that all goes smoothly i will have the apartment the first week of February. But I'm gonna make myself some dinner and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and wash my hair and test out my new blow dryer. And I'm gonna just try to go to bed early because in the morning I have clients at the salon and then the Christmas party. So it's gonna be a late night tomorrow. So I wanna try to get as much sleep as I can tonight. So then hopefully tomorrow I will have the energy to keep going. <laughs> Good morning. I'm getting ready to go to the salon. I have a pedicure appointment with my coworker. And then after that, I have two clients. And then I am curling my other coworker's hair for the Christmas party. And I want to drop Benny off at my friend's house so he can play with her dogs. Because I feel bad. I feel like he's just been cooped up in the apartment the last few days. Because I've just been out and about and busy. And I just feel bad leaving him home alone. Especially because today I'm going to be gone for most of the day working. And then tonight is the Christmas party. So I'm going to be gone all night too. But the two clients I have today are returning clients. The one is getting a full foil and a haircut to blend her grays. And then the other one is just getting a toner and a haircut but i'm not putting on a bunch of makeup i'm just gonna keep it like really light and natural because i feel like there's no point when i come home from work i want to be able to just wash my face and then do my makeup fresh before the party so i just put on a little bit of sunscreen i use the one from the brand circadia um, and underneath that, I put the Ola Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. Then Laneige um, Lip Treatment. And now I am putting on the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. Just a tiny bit under my eyes. And let's just cover this little pimple while we're at it too. And then I'm just going to do a little clear brow gel just to keep the brows pushed up and in place and a tiny bit of rare beauty liquid blush normally i will also do mascara but yesterday i went mascara free and i actually really liked the look of it like it just looks really fresh kind of you know clean girl aesthetic and i washed my hair last night Tested out that new blow dryer. So stay tuned for that review video. That should be coming within the next few days. But I'm just going to pull my hair back and put it in one of my new claw clips. Okay, never mind. I needed the big size. The little one will be good for like a half up situation. And that's it. That way I can do my hair and my makeup and everything fresh later when I get home from work. So I'm wearing my Amazon dress with the built-in shapewear like the Skims dupe. It's so comfortable and soft. And then this denim jacket is from American Eagle. Wearing it with my comfy Sherpa slides from Target. And that is my work look. So I will see you at the salon. worked out perfectly I had a weird gut feeling I don't know why but I just had a feeling my last client 
wasn't going to show and she didn't and then my coworker was just like oh you know what don't worry about it so I didn't end up doing her hair either I just had the one client and I got done two hours earlier than I thought I was going to so that is a relief now I can take my time go get Benny head home and I don't have to be rushing and a few of my co-workers are gonna come over to my place so we can get ready together and drive together and I am excited and I feel really good because you know it was a pretty easy day so I don't feel super tired and run down or anything like that I am ready to have a good night so I will see you later Well, no, it's not morning. It's almost 2 p.m. But I didn't get home till like close to three. And uh, you know, I was drinking espresso martinis and then vodka Red Bulls by the end of the night. So needless to say, I wasn't tired when I got home. So I don't even know what time I actually went to sleep. And then I woke up a few times throughout the morning, but then I didn't actually like officially get up and out of bed till like around noon. Took Benny out for a walk and went to go check my packages. I don't know if you guys saw or remember a few vlogs ago, I had placed a cider order and I had got this top in a couple other colors and I said I got it in brown too, but for whatever reason, this shipped by itself separately. So this finally arrived now, which is nice. I love these tops. I'll link this down below. Hopefully they're still in stock and on sale because I got them for like $11 and when I tell you the material is so soft, it feels so good and it's stretchy. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I love the chocolate brown and that's actually perfect timing because tomorrow we're doing a photo shoot at the salon for, you know, social media and website content updating our headshots and all that kind of stuff and she always wants us to like you know be on brand with the color scheme which is all like neutrals tans browns that kind of thing so i think she wants us to bring like a couple different outfits to change into so maybe i'll bring that tomorrow and then we got something from etsy which is a christmas gift so i'm not going to show you what that is i also I'm out of coffee creamer so I went to my apartment's like clubhouse because they have like a coffee station and teas and like a bunch of stuff so I went and got some coffee creamers and then I saw that they had this vanilla chai tea and I was like oh, that sounds good oh it smells so good oh my god I was gonna just make my regular coffee but then I was like wait I don't know why but chai tea right now sounds way better than coffee just boiled some water Electric kettle from Amazon. Still have been loving it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of light agave in there to sweeten it up. And I'm gonna let that steep for a couple minutes and then 
add some half and half to it. But yeah, last night was really fun. I still have to sort through my footage. I don't know how much I got, but we went to dinner at an Italian restaurant and it was family style. So they just kept bringing courses out. Like you don't order individually. They just had like a set menu for the night. And I think it was like five or six courses and they just brought out like these big giant plates and you could just pass it along and take what you wanted. And then we did our white elephant gift exchange. Let me show you what I ended up getting. Got this little set. What an adorable little martini glass. That would just look so cute sitting on my bar cart. And then holiday cocktail recipe book. But anyway, I'm gonna go sit down and have my tea and then we'll do our questions of the day and wrap it up. Okay. I pulled up the comments from the last Vlogmas vlog. So what I do anytime I do Vlogmas is at the end of each vlog, I pull up a question or two from the previous vlog and answer it. So if you have a question that you would like to be featured in the next Vlogmas vlog in two days from now, leave it down in the comments. This question from Marina, if a subscriber came up to you while you were out shopping, would you mind or would you rather them not? I have actually had that happen several times and one of my really good friends now, I actually just met through Instagram because she used to watch my vlogs and then when I moved here she reached out to me and we hung out and that's how I ended up working at the salon where I'm at because she works there. So no, I think that it is great. Honestly, sometimes I can be a little bit awkward sometimes in person, depending, not, not always, but sometimes like especially if my social battery is kind of drained and I'm like just out looking like a bum like this and I'm just trying to run errands real quick and I'm not expecting to run into someone. I don't have a crazy following, I'm just a normal person. So it's like, I don't expect people to know who I am. So sometimes it catches me a little bit off guard and I might like, I don't know, come off weird, but no, I love it. And if you ever happen to see me out, please feel free to come up to me. Let's see, let me find one more. This one's from Jenny, and thanks Jenny. I feel like she's a loyal viewer. I, she always comments on my videos. Do you still feel that the move to North Carolina was a good choice, or do you ever wish that you hadn't? I 100% feel like it was the right move. I think about my hometown where I moved from, and I just can't picture myself living there anymore. And I just feel like, I've experienced such great things over the past couple years after I moved here. It's done great things for my relationship. It's done great things for my own personal growth, for my mental health. I've made beautiful friendships down here and it really forced me to be on my own fully. I don't know, it, I mean, it was scary to move down here without knowing anybody and not really being familiar with the area at all. But I really truly think it was one of the best decisions that I've ever made. And if you are considering making a similar move, I say go for it. Like, yes, it's risky. Yes, it's scary, but why not? Life is short, just do it. And worst case scenario, you can always move back home. You know, that's what I told myself. Thank you guys for the questions. Like I said, comment down below if you have any others that you want me to answer in the next one. And tomorrow I will have a blowout tutorial. So stay tuned for that. And then I'll see you in a couple days with another vlog. Bye.